And I know that there is a lot of talk around town here on Capitol Hill. But the fact remains is that Matt Gates is a duly elected member of Congress. And it would be un-American to deny his constituents, all 750,000 of them, their right to be represented and heard in our nation's capital. This is the right. people's house. And so that is non-negotiable as far as I am concerned. So at the moment, it looks like these eight holdouts, they're going to be the ones with all the power in the GOP in the House, they're the ones who are going to decide who's the next speaker, these eight. No, Stu, I actually disagree with that assessment. Every single member of the People's House has the exact same vote. And we are entitled to vote how our constituents would like us to. So I think that the, the people who are running for speaker and the subsequent other offices and positions in the House, they have to earn every single vote. And as we have seen in the past, if you take someone for granted, the margins are just too thin to assume that you have something, something in the bag. So we're in a tough situation. Situation, and this is calling for tough leaders and tough conversations, tough decisions to be made. So okay. I, I disagree that the eight control the fate of the country. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll respectfully agree to disagree on this one. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas, now he's just done a complete 180. He now says there's an immediate, an immediate need to build a border wall in Texas. Why do you think he's saying that now? Oh, in the South, we would say, Stu, bless his heart. You know, we have been calling on Secretary Mayorkas for, at this point, three years to get with the program. We have talked about the force multiplier that the wall gives to our Border Patrol agents. You could pick up the phone, call any agent on the line, and they will tell you they need the wall. And that right there, the, this 180 of now we're going to construct the wall, I'm glad for Americans, I'm glad for our agents, but it really does tell you that they are panicking in the White House. They see that the number one issue for Americans today is border security because the Biden crisis has turned every town in America into a border town. They're seeing the writing on the wall. They do nothing that isn't politically advantageous for them, and they see that they're losing on this issue. Well, do you think so it's good for our security, uh, bad for the White House. Are they making this announcement now, yeah, we'll build a little wall, we'll build it. They're making the announcement now to capitalize and uh, you know, make hay while the sun shines because of the Gates fiasco. <laughs> yeah, it's like when they announced the jobs numbers on a Friday afternoon. They want it to go by without a headline, a, a whisper from the media. They're hoping that they can do this with no one really paying attention. Because remember, this was part of the campaign that Biden talked about. He would not construct one more foot, in his words, of border wall. He called it cruel. But we all know that the cruelty exists in this administration because they allow little girls and little boys to be trafficked, raped, abused. They allow this trafficking of human to persist. And that is why, as, I, as you've heard me say, Stu, this is not a commander in chief down the street from me. This is a trafficker in chief. <laughs> Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.